हेलो एवरीवन सो नाउ लेट्स डू लैब टू इन द एस एफ आर वन आई होप यू रिमेंबर इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास वी डिस्कस अबाउट दैट वन लाइक इमेजिन आई हैव वन पी सी हियर वन पी सी हियर दिस पी सी नीड टू एक्सेस द इंटरनेट ओके दिस इज योर लैन एरिया फ्रॉम हियर टू हियर एंड दिस इज योर वैन एरिया यू आर कनेक्टेड टू द आई एस पी दिस इज ए वैन सो दिस सिनेरियो ऑलरेडी वी डिस्कस इन अवर प्रीवियस क्लास नाउ वी नीड टू परफॉर्म दिस लैब you have the asa firewall now we are going to use the asa later we can use fortigate palo alto in the evng but for packet tracer we have only asa so we are going to use asa so what we need to do first of all we need to have this ip to this interface and this ip to this interface as per our ip schema but in the packet tracer and for this model we cannot assign the ip direct to the interface so what we need to do we need to assign the ip to the vlan and put that vlan under this interface same thing here we need to do and we need to enable the dscp here so this machine can get the ip from the dscp after doing that one we need to create one default route towards the isp towards here and then we need to do the nat that is nat pad here in the firewall so we are going to do that one so first of all there is some default configuration present in the asa firewall so i will go inside and we will see what default configuration we have already here so i can write here i will write enable and there is a no password just write show run to check the default configuration if you see default configuration this is a interface e0 by 0 it is under the vlan 2 okay so if you see this is a interface e0 by 0 it is in the vlan 2 so whatever ip we are assigning to vlan 2 that will go to that interface e0 by 0 okay so this ip we need to assign to the vlan 2 anyhow we will see what else we have here in this default configuration if you see i have vlan 1 and vlan 1 is having name if inside and the security level 100 and there is ip so you need to remember one thing in the asa firewall whenever you are assigning the ip to the interface you need to define here also the security level so whenever you are uh, defining security level as a outside automatically they will set as a zero as a security level whenever you will set as a inside they are going to set security level as a 100 by default so this we need to do if you see here we have vlan 1 and in this one we told name if inside this is a syntax we need to follow because we cannot assign the ip to this interface directly so what we are doing we are going under the vlan 1 and in the vlan 1 we are saying name if inside so i am saying this is a inside and then i am i am writing security level 100 i am defining here but in the real scenario in evng also if you check when you write name if inside automatically the security level will be 100 anyhow we can write also so i am writing as a 100 then i am putting the ip address 192.168.1.1 this ip what i plan by default it is configured just it is already configured to the vlan 1 so we need to put vlan 1 under this interface e0 by 1 so this all configuration will go to this interface okay let's see what else we have here if you see after that for the vlan 2 we have that dscp here dscp also enable in the vlan 2 means this interface dscp also enable so we can disable if you don't want to use dscp and here if you see name if outside whenever we are using as outside security level should be zero so this one security level zero already defined here for the vlan 2 if you see this side okay and dscp is enable there so we can keep no issue and after that if you see here what we have here you have the dscp configuration here This is IP range 192.168.1.5. DSCP is starting from 1.5 till 36 inside. Means this side. So DSCP also enable this side also. If you see DSCP enable inside. So here DSCP is configure and enable for the inside. Inside it is enable. So what we can say, this interface is a DSCP client is enable. So IP can get from here to here. and in this interface we enable the dscp server so it will give the ip to this machine already enable in the default setting now i will show you one more thing you can write here show ip and you can check if i write show ip you can check i have the vlan 1 and vlan 
and if you see VLAN 1 is inside, VLAN 2 is outside and this IP is assigned to the VLAN 1, this, there is nothing IP for the VLAN 2. And if I write another command, we have one more command show switch and one command VLAN. When I write show switch VLAN, it will show me which interface is in which VLAN. If you see here, interface from E0 by 1 till E0 by 7, this all interface is inside and that is in the VLAN 1 by default and only one interface that is E0 by 0 is outside and it is in the VLAN 2. So no need to worry for interface, already as per our requirement interface is there. Okay, if you want to check here, see here, this is the two interface, E0 by 0 is connected to the ISP. In our lab, in our scenario, E0 by 0 is connected to ISP router. So this should be outside and in the VLAN 2. So if you see, this is the VLAN 2 and it is outside. And other interface E0 by 1, this is that interface. This all interface is in inside and it is assigned to VLAN 1. So we are using only this one interface. So already interface no need to worry. This is default configuration already configured. Just we need to check here. Here we don't have the IP to the VLAN 2. So we need to assign the IP to the VLAN 2. So how we will assign? I will go inside the global configuration mode. I will write interface VLAN 2 and then I will write IP address and whatever IP schema we plan 200.1.1.1 I will write 200.1.1.1 space 255.255.255.0 then we will write no shirt even if you did not write no shirt no problem okay so now I assign the IP if you want to check we can write show switch switch VLAN and you can check here show switch VLAN okay let me check show IP when we check show IP, we have this IP is the outs inside IP, this is the outside IP. So IP is okay. Now we can go to this machine and you can check here, you can click here and you can check here. Are we, our machine are getting the IP? Yes, our machine get the IP and here also we can go and we can check our machine is getting IP or not because this DA, ASA firewall is acting as a DSCP server for the LAN side, inside, so he is giving the IP, so our machine is getting the IP, our machine is getting the IP, now can we ping the server, Google server, imagine can we access the internet, first of all I will write IP config, if you see IP config I have 192.168.1.7, this is my IP, okay I get from the ASA firewall, ASA firewall is working as a DSP server also, now I need to ping 8.8.8.8. .8 .8 .8. It will not work. Why? Because we did not configure the NAT and also we did not configure the default route. So first thing what we need to do, we need to configure the default route from here. We, we need to say ASA whatever you are getting from here, if you don't have forward that all traffic to this IP, that is ISP. Give that all traffic to ISP router, we need to tell to ASA. And also we need to configure the NAT or PAD because this what we can say the private IP is going to translate to the public IP okay private IP is going to translate with the public IP for that purpose we need to have the NAT so we need to configure NAT after configuring NAT also even uh, even if we configure the NAT and if we create the default route this guy is unable to ping the DSC this Google server why because ping is uh, disabled in this firewall so we need to do some uh, setting like we can say class map policy map we can create and we can allow the ICMP then it will work so let's see that one okay first thing we need to create the default route so what I will do I will go here exit I can write root okay press question mark where you want to give the root outside or inside we need to give outside how i am saying outside because this this is the outside interface i need default route so all the traffic will go to isp router so i will write outside okay and then 0 .0 .0, 0 0.0.0 0.0.0 i am saying any ip with any subnet mask forward to 200.1.1.2 why i am writing 200.1.1.2 this is the ip for the isp i am saying asa firewall whatever IP with whatever subnet mask you are getting forward that all traffic to this ISP router okay so with this way I enable the default route in the ASA firewall 
now we will configure the net when we want to configure the net we need to create the object okay we need to create the object i will create object as a network and where we need to use this one we need to translate from inside to outside so i will give name inside you can give any name i am writing here inside see here what i want to say you i want to create the net so before creating net we will create one object what object i am creating network okay network and i can give any name here and then i can define the subnet of our inside then i will configure the net if you write object and press question mark he is giving that for what purpose we need to create the object for network for host for subnet for range so i will write here network and when we write network then press question mark he is giving give any name so i will say i want to create for inside so i will put the capital lock and i will write inside so you can understand whatever capital lock i am writing that is a any number i can give i can give abc i can give xyz anything i am writing this inside because i want to give this ip to uh, because i want to select the inside ip that's why i am writing inside then press enter okay so i created one object now i will write subnet which subnet i need to create i will write that subnet and give that subnet what is our subnet we have 192.168.1.0 so i will write 192.168.1.0 and after that i will give the subnet mask 255.255.255.0 then press enter now we need to write nat after that we need to put the bracket if you have confusion press question mark so this is a symbol we need to write nat and then we need to give the inside outside whatever that uh, from where you need to do the net you need to write so i put the bracket i write inside and then comma and after that i write outside so i am saying do the net from inside to outside okay and then i write dynamic interface why i am writing dynamic interface because it is a pad okay all the private ip is translating to one public ip that's why i am writing here dynamic interface okay now net configuration is done even net configuration is done even if you ping now it will not work let me show you because by default in the firewall it is block by default in the firewall icmp is block so they cannot access it will uh, have request time out request time out here so what i need to do i need to do some configuration i need to allow the icmp so to allow the icmp what i will do here i will exit this first of all i will go in the global configuration mode and now i need to create the class map okay so i will write class map and i will give any name if you have confusion press question mark we can give any name so i will enable the capital lock so by seeing the capital lock you can think any name i can give so i will write inspect inspection underscore default you can give any name okay i write inspection underscore default and i created class map now i am saying match what match here match here default if you have confusion press question mark we have so many thing we can match from here okay so i will say match default inspection traffic i will say this option so i will say match inspection match inspection default okay match inspection default let me write match what i am saying here match default okay this one i need to put this one so i will write match default inspection traffic okay when i write de and press tab automatically it will come so i am saying that match this uh, default inspection traffic and press enter and write exit so here i selected the default traffic in the class map now i need to apply this in policy map so i will write policy map and i can create any name so i can if you want i can press question mark here he is giving a policy map name or type the specific type so i can give any name i will write global global policy you can give any name okay policy and then press enter here i will call the class so i will write class inspection default i need to call this uh, this one where i created this one this i need to call there so i need to write same as it is what i wrote there so i will paste here 
so i will call that class here and then i will say inspect icmp so i am saying inspect icmp then exit so what i done here first of all let me explain you here i created one class map in that class map i am saying match the default traffic whatever default traffic is coming that one default inspection traffic select that one and in the policy map i created one policy map and i am calling this class map in that one and i am saying that one whatever the traffic we are getting from the class inspect that as a icmp and then we need to apply so how we will apply we need to write service policy and whatever name we give we give the name if you have confusion press question mark the name which name we give we need to write that one if you see we put this name okay we put this name so i will copy i will put that name here after that if you have doubt put question mark we need to apply this global level or interface level so i need to apply this global so i will write global and press enter so this is the what i done i created class map i select the traffic whatever the traffic i want to apply and policy my i apply i created policy map in that one i call the class map i inspect their icmp then i apply to the global level now this machine is able to ping before they are unable to ping see so after applying that one this pc can access this server this server is nothing but google server and what configuration i done for the router if you want let me show you see this is a google server replies coming before it is not working and if you go here what configuration i done in this router let me show you enable show run so this is a normal router just i configured the interface if you see this is one interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 here i assign this ip and this is the fast ethernet 0 by 1 another interface here i assign the 8.8.1 dot dot okay and if you see here this is the ip routing before i done but now no need for the ip route because we are not doing the reverse routing if you want let me remove before i done this one so maybe you will have the confusion because now we are using the uh nat so no need for that one so i will write here i will copy this whole thing this no need this one before i apply now let me remove this okay i remove this now i don't have any reverse routing now it will work okay let me ping see it is working it is working because we configure nat and here the reverse routing before we configure i remove that one now if you want you can check show ip root do we have any root nothing and if you want let me write show run you can check here only i assign the ip address to that interface i don't have any reverse routing here okay before for other lab i done that's why it is showing here now i remove that one even if i remove the reverse routing it is working they can ping this pc our pc is able to access the internet this is a internet server 8.8.8 if you see what i done here here just i put the ip 8.8.8 and this is a subnet mask this is a gateway that gateway is nothing but this router ip so i am able to access this one okay i am able to access i can ping this one what i done here let me show you the configuration also i have in the my notepad this is the new thing we create default route this is a nat what we done just now and this is a special thing we created the class map in that one we match all the default inspection traffic and here we created one policy map in that one we call that one and we inspect the icmp and we apply for the global level that one that's all okay so this is our lab 2 for asa basic asa lab 2 i hope you enjoy this one if you have any doubts let us know right in the chat box or comments thank you bye